All right, guys, welcome back to our reptiles. Today we're going to be putting the Brachypelma epilosum in its enclosure. Um, and I mean, by we, I mean me and him. So we're going to be... No, I'm just kidding. He's not going to help. He'd eat it before he got anywhere. No, come here. All right, come on. Go down there. Go somewhere else. Thank you. Okay, so um, now I know a lot of y'all are going to complain and tell me that I got the too small of a cage. I am dealing with a little space issue. So that's why I got an 8x8x8 exoterra instead of the 12x12. 12 12. I know that 12x12 12 12 was recommended for a burrowing species for more land space, but I think for a burrowing species, an 8x8 8 8 would be just fine for what I have space for. So hopefully he'll, he'll enjoy it and everything. Um, well, let's get started. Let's take off the... See if he will come out on his own. You can just pull the whole thing out and put it in the tank. Alright, so Mr. Paper Tail is in his new house, um, and then we're going to try with the arduous process of making sure he feels comfortable enough to come out now. With his... That is rapid. Let's see. Here he's coming. All right, so you can see him slowly starting to come out. Come on, go. He's been. Carlo, buddy, you were stubborn. He's pretty. Thank you. All right, paper towel out. He is looking around, being a spider. And that was an incredibly simple rehouse on a Brachiopelma epilosum. Actually, I'm going to do a quick little. Put a little spritz of water in there. Maybe I might wait till later, but we'll try it now. Well, he's a uh, he's at least four inches. Might want to put the lid on. Hey, come on. Thank you. Before he decides to try and Alcatraz his way out of this enclosure, we'll put the lid back on. And there we go. Sealed in. That's right. Yeah, there you go. There, that's a good. That can seem good. 